everybody and welcome to another quick skills tutorial. My name is Dawn and I am with nerdygocreative.com and for this week's quick skills tutorial I am going to show you how to uh, fit text into pretty much any shape um, using the envelope distort mesh um, feature in Adobe Illustrator. So we're going to be creating this uh, nice little ornament since it is around the holiday season and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're gonna come over here into a new document. It's about three inches by three inches. I am gonna go ahead and select my uh, ellipse tool. I am going to give myself a stroke, but not a fill. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a circle. I am holding down shift so that I can get a perfectly sized circle. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just move it into the middle here. Now that we have it placed, I'm going to go ahead and pick out my type for this uh, tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and hit T on my keyboard. I am going to go ahead, come up here. I'm going to put my caps lock on and I'm going to, to go ahead and type uh, deck and halls. I am going to go ahead and choose kind of a fun font and it is called Frederica the Great. Um, I really like this font because it has sort of like a hand-drawn uh, chalkboard feel. And to begin this, we're going to go ahead and come up here to Object, and we're going to go ahead and expand it. This way we can work with the text just like it's an object. We're going to expand the object and the fill. We're going to go ahead and hit OK. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to ungroup. So I'm going to hold um, Command-Shift-G or uh, Control-Shift-D on a PC. All right, so this will break it down into its individual letters. So what I'm going to do is just group up my letters and control G or command G to group the two words in separately. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of move them down here. I'm going to come up here to object. And then I'm going to come down here to Envelope Distort, and I'm going to Make with Mesh. If you have followed any of my other Illustrator tutorials, you'll notice that I do have a tutorial that is um, sort of a, a typography illustration. And this goes, and we use this technique in that uh, tutorial, um, but this just goes into a little bit more um, in depth using only this. And the other tutorial, we use a lot of different features and, you know, masks, clipping masks and all kinds of crazy stuff, textures and whatnot. It's a really good tutorial. You should go check it out. Um, <laughs> and, uh, but this one, I'm going to show you kind of how to work with some more of the little um, handles and Bevier curves and everything that we have going on um, in the, uh, the mesh. So I want one row because I only have one row of words and then I want four columns since I have four letters. So I'm going to go ahead and hit okay. And I'm not really going to touch on the bottom. I want a straight edge along the bottom. But in order to start working with the mesh, I need to go over here to my direct selection tool, which would also be A on the keyboard. I'm going to start by pulling on these top, almost basically going straight up from, I don't want them to be super distorted because I have, you know, sort of a circular shape. So pull them kind of straight up until you get them right there. And then I want the the K and the D to be pulled straight across so that they'll fill the space up. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to do the same thing with my other one. So I'm going to start up here at the top. And when you go ahead and click on one of these points up here, you'll notice the two handles will pop out. These adjust the curves of the um, the mesh that you have. So when you pull up the on the handle like this, you see how it curves back up, which is what you wanted to do because you wanted to kind of fill in in a circular motion. So you'll want to like grab these handles, kind of pull them out until they get into um, sort of a rounded section that you want. And you can also adjust these tools, but I mean these um, the length of these by pulling them up and down. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go all the way around and I'm going to go ahead and fix these. I'm going to um, adjust these handles and you'll see how nice and pretty they come out.
got it pretty much fit um, the way we'd like it. Uh, there are some other things that you can do. You can actually pull on each of these points and pull them in. You can move these around. Um, you can also grab the center points here and actually move the alignment of the whole entire thing. Give my circle a fill and I'm gonna go ahead and let's go with red. Um, so in order to finish with our mesh, We'll have to cl click on it. We're going to come back onto the regular selection tool. Going to go to object and then we're going to go ahead and expand it. So once you kind of get to this point, uh, there's not really a whole lot of return. All right, so now I'm going to change my text to white. I'm going to get rid of the stroke on my circle because I don't like it. And then over here, I have these very cute um, little Christmas trees. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull in the, the whole thing from over there. And you can play around with a whole lot of other things. I put some Christmas lights in there and I thought they were really adorable. Um, I ended up with the Christmas trees, so cute. <laughs> All right. And for the ornament top handle, um, all I did was I just used a rounded rectangle and then I kind of created two rounded rectangle halves on top of each other and then kind of moved it over. All right, everybody, there we have it, our completed ornament, and we learned how to fit text inside any kind of shape using the envelope distort with mesh tool in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share these videos. I create a new tutorial or a freebie every week. If you have any suggestions as to what you'd like me to go in more in depth with on the next quick tutorials, um, go ahead and leave me a comment in the section below or go over to Nerdy Girl Creative dot com and send me an email. You guys create something amazing.